The beautiful Nollywood actress and model Genevieve Nnaji, who hails from Mbaise in Imo State, Nigeria, and raised in Lagos, seems to have found love again. Hi guys, you are watching Mchiki series. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing by clicking on the red subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon. That way, you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So it seems like Genevieve Nnaji has found love again. The Nigerian artist and entrepreneur Chuki Edozian, popularly known as his stage name Lynx, has released a photo of him and Genevieve, which recently sparked off relationship rumor between these two. Lynx35 shared a photo of himself with Genevieve40 on his Instagram page, holding hands together. And this has made a lot of people to believe that Genevieve has found love again, and this one a perfect love after her lost involvement with Nigerian hip-hop artist The Bank few years back ago, allegedly. The Nollywood actress who doesn't make her relationship open, Business of People, has had a lot of rumors following her relationship status. The last time in 2017, there was this rumor that went around saying that Genevieve and Naji reportedly get married secretly in Portugal, and after everything, the whole story was lied. Genevieve is among the top Nigerian celebrities who had given out their best in developing Nigerian movie industry. The multiple award-winning star is always a delight to watch. She made her first TV appearance in the late 80s, and her top movie production, Lionheart, has recently been acquired by Netflix, a prominent movie streaming platform, making it the first original Nollywood movie to be hosted by Netflix. Genevieve has a beautiful daughter known as Theodora Shimebuka Naji, fondly called Dora, who owns a makeup business known as Naj Artistry, and she got married in 2016 to her Prince Charming, Shigoziem. According to Genevieve, she had her daughter at age 17, and she never knew she was pregnant until her mom discovered that, and being from a Catholic family where abortion is not allowed and is against the faith, therefore she kept the pregnancy till full term, and after giving birth, her mother assisted in raising the baby while she focused on her career and her education. And since the daughter got married, a lot of her fans have been worried about her relationship situation, and whenever time arises, they find a way to push the question out on the media, like this one that says, me Genevieve Naji, daughter who got married before her mother. I mean, does it really matter who got married first? The bottom line is that you are settling with the right person. Of what importance is it that Genevieve rushed into marriage at the end of the day? She rushes out of it. These, her fans, will not be there to console her. They will not be there to support her. People will just laugh and say, oh, finally she has failed. She didn't make it. So let her be, leave her alone. People should get busy and get worried about their problems and not minding other people's problems. And the truth still remains that even if she's seen anyone, she will not make it open till she's sure of the definition of the marriage, where the marriage is leading, because normally she's not good at flaunting her relationship at public faces. Then another thing is, even with the high divorce rate among celebrity marriages, some people are still shoving marriage down people's throats as if that's the ultimate. Recently, when Ro Ajibade confirmed divorce with Osas Igodaro on Robin Mind, hosted by media personality Ebuka Obiuchendo on Channel's television. What's, what's your family? I mean, <laughs> there's so many questions I have because and I, know you have, it's, I know it's a private issue, but it's, yeah. it stopped being a little private when you also made it sort of public because a lot of the drama that came on came from you. Mm. From your page, from some posts you put up on your Instagram. It was just a, a post. You said some posts. Just, okay, just well, it was a post, post that sort of post, escalated. Yeah. And, and that, that post in particular yeah, was... Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, most people misunderstood the intention of that post. That was just me using Instagram to, you know, address something at a particular time which worked for that period of time. Yeah. You know, and... It so, just, you, just, just for those who don't know, you put up a post saying, sort of talking about your ex-wife now, like you say, since you're divorced, you know, she had gone out or something at night and left your child you said and didn't attend to her and came up came home at 5 a.m and he said what sort of mother does that um so first of all at that point were you divorced already were you separated or no. was that sort of one of the reasons that escalated things yes yeah, they're trying to bring me back to answering what i'm not trying to answer and my point the reason why i'm not answering is because you know i'm not trying to make anybody look bad for, yeah you know and I mean, till tomorrow she's still the mother of my child, yeah. right? I still got love and respect for her. You know, we're still in good terms. You know, if you guys are concerned, if we're in good terms, yes, we are. We are still in good terms. Okay. And that's it. Okay, but at that point you were not divorced. At that point. At that point you were yeah. not divorced. Um, it, it, there are a lot of people didn't 
particularly take that very well, you know, the post you put up. Do you regret doing that? Because, I mean, social media can get very messy, and people say sometimes mm -hmm. it's better for things to be left, you right. know, quiet. So was that a sort of a last resort for you, and why did you do that? Like I said, yes, exactly. I think that's just the phrase, it was the last resort I had. And, you know, I can't explain into detail telling you what made me do it and the actual reason and all of that stuff. But for me, I used Instagram as a tool to salvage the situation at a particular point in time, which worked for me. So, yes, a lot of people misunderstood it. I had to take all the bullets and all of that, you know, but at the end of the day, it was for the sake of my daughter, yeah. you know. And I feel, I, I wouldn't say I regret it, you know, because, I mean, it worked for me at that point in time since it was the only result I had. If you can remember sometime in February this year, when Ro called out his ex-wife or Sass on Instagram over neglecting of their daughter, slamming her for leaving their daughter in the hands of strangers so as to party with friends, and he wrote, Who leaves their baby in the house and goes to party with friends through events? From 6 p.m. to 5 a.m., it is not the first, second, third, and fourth time. The other night you slept out, you sent our baby off with a stranger to drop her off at home with the nanny so you can be out all night. Personally, I think when it comes to marriage, using social media to call out the wrong in marriage is very, very wrong. And I don't think it in any way helps any situation. Rather, it worsens it because a lot of strangers will jump on the case and blow the situation out of proportion, thereby making it very difficult to manage. And some of these people are not relationship experts. Some have never even experienced marriage and have absolutely no clue what it means to be married. And some people, they enjoy drama. They feed on this drama. But unfortunately for them, Osas did not respond. Before calling her ex out on Instagram, I've never had this couple had any drama until recently because they have never seen any controversies around them and they always look perfect together. Nobody can actually say what their main problem is. However, Osas has since taken down her ex-husband's name on her Instagram handle and remained silent about her relationship with him. When Ru and Osas met on Teen Cell Set, which is a TV series, it has been called the most successful television drama on Nigerian television in recent times. These two had a fairy tale wedding on July 4, 2015, in New York City, in the United States, in the presence of their family and close friends, after one week of having their traditional marriage in Benin City. They welcomed their only child and daughter, Azaria, in 2016, and right now they are divorced, they are co parenting. This is where it gets very sad when you have a child in the middle of divorce because this child never began to be there. It was the decision of the two adults to make baby. So I hope they find a way in their tight schedule to make time for the baby and also give her good parenting. These are one of my favorite couples. I love the chemistry between them, but definitely not my couple goals because I don't believe in couple goals. I don't really know what goes in behind closed doors when couples are involved. So that's the major reason why I don't believe in couple goals. Each marriage is different, so it has to be treated differently. It seems so much that they are into each other, and they seem so much in love. Like I said before, you never know what goes on behind the closed doors. So it is their own decision. They knew why they made that decision. The traditional marriage was lit, and it showcased beautiful cultural heritage of Edo people. You can see it was a very late traditional marriage. I don't know the reason why celebrity marriages keep crashing. However, there are some of them who have stood the test of time, like Joke Silva, Omotala Jalade Keinde, and others. And a couple of them have also crashed this year, like Yvonne Jegede, Blossom Chuku Jepu, Ken Eriks, and others. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you know the reason, let me know. Do you think that they're so carried away in their celebrity status that they forgot to look out for the red flags? Or do you think they find it difficult trying to get the right person? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm gonna sign off here. Stay healthy and safe.
remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to my channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you in my next video bye